Unfolding the eternal excellences, the hidden insights of the truth and the depth of the riches of wisdom and knowledge. The Bible says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have not pointed to your weaknesses. He says, I have cleansed thee by the word. I have pointed to your strength. And this is your strength, that I am Christ in you, the hope of glory. The glory of freedom, the glimpses into eternity. The gospel is not supposed to be an assumption. It's not supposed to be just a mere presupposition. Truth is older than language, but the Word of God is way deeper than any human language. And now, Apostle Grace with the Word. In 2014, I began the ministry called Fanero. As not understood by many. But before we began that movement, God gave me a vision. And in that vision, He was visiting our nation. But He was putting a light on this land. And this land was shining the world. Who is understanding what I'm saying? And I saw some men of God. We were carried in the heavenlies. Jesus carried us. Christo, yes, And I remember four men. Four men of God. And I was among those four. Now, this was something beginning from our land. But was going to have an effect on the church across the world. You don't have to believe me. Believe the works. Believe the results. Jesus told us to open our mouth. Yes, And told us drink and be filled. And he had a big cup. Full of the anointing. Big. And he poured. Yashka. We were drunk and we were filled. And this oil also started to fall on our land. I could see it. Then I saw two kinds of stars down on the earth. And I saw bright stars and I saw dim stars. First Jesus. Why are some bright and some are dim? And he said to me, the bright ones are ministers. The dim ones are normal believers. So the oil started falling. And I saw dim stars coming to the oil. I saw some bright stars coming to the oil. But many bright stars walked away from the oil. They just walked away, they refused. But I saw that more dim light received more than the brighter light. I was also part of the receiving. Are you following what I'm saying? 
For many days my heart wept. Because I knew exactly what God was saying. I knew exactly what God was saying. Our nation needs God. And I'm not talking about what people call God that is not real. We need the reality of God. We need Jesus himself to come on our people. I want you to believe with me to see a move like we've never seen like we've never seen it has started already in Kampala we're seeking meetings that people never thought would be such in our nation before and the Lord told me these lights are hitting the nation. I pray your eyes become bigger than just getting a job. Beyond getting a house and a car. Those things will follow you. They 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 will follow you. But who are you following? Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ has been very misrepresented. Many people are giving a very wrong impression about the person of Jesus Christ. And I know why they say that. Why they do that. He's so good. That the devil has to misrepresent him. Jesus is so good. It's called the good news. I wonder how somebody cannot believe Jesus. Unless they don't know how good he is. It's the only reason why a man cannot receive Jesus. It's not possible. To know the goodness of God. And not turn to repentance. The Bible says they despise the long suffering of God. The riches of his goodness. And forbearance. And long suffering. The Bible says not knowing. But the goodness of God. Lead us men to repent. The anger of God. Does not bring permanent change in a human heart. Look, look at Israel. For those of you who know the story of the children of God, Israel. How many times did he smite them? How many times did he give them over to their enemies? How many times were they swallowed by the ground? How many times were they plagued within? How many times did women bury their children? How many times were armies buried in soil? But Israel still rebelled to God even up to now. Up to now. There is no amount of anger. There is no degree of wrath. 
that can draw the heart of a man. It's only the love of God. Somebody shout hallelujah. It's the love of God. It's the mercy of God. It is the forgiveness of God. It is the grace of God. To know that he loves you unconditionally. To know that he shed his blood for you. Some of us, if we look at inside, we did not deserve this. We did not even deserve to be alive. If you examine yourself, there was no reason for you to be walking with those two legs. You did enough to die. If it's not you, Adam did it. Your father. Sure. So. But we are alive. We are alive. Somebody say we are alive. You might be sick in your body. But you're still alive. Let me tell you a real Jesus. Second Corinthians chapter 1. Verse 18. But as God is true, tell your neighbor, as God is true, our toward you was not nay, it was not yet, and nay. As God is true, if we are talking about truth, our word toward you could not be yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me, Paul, Silvanus, Timotheus, there was not ye and nay. The Bible says, but in him was here. Not by him. Not of him. No, in him was here. That means outside him, there is a nay. But in him, there is no nay. Somebody said hallelujah. In him, was here. The one Paul preached. The one Sylvanus preached. The one Timothy has preached. In him there was no nay. Somebody said hallelujah. He says for all the promises of God. All. All the promises of God. All the promises of God. In him. Are here. And in him. Amen. And to the glory of God. And listen to a very powerful word. By us. By us. That means it fulfills his promises by men. Did he promise to heal? Answer me, did he promise to heal? By us. In him. Did he promise to provide? By us. In him. Did he promise victory? In him. By us. Did he promise glory? In him. By us. Did he say he will provide all your needs? 
According to his riches in glory in Christ. In him. By us. God no longer uses trees. The Bible says now to him which is able. To do exceedingly abundantly above that which you dare to ask or think according to his power that works in us. Tell your neighbor it is in me. Tell your neighbor he has put it in men. It's not in trees. It's not in the air. It's not on the ground. It's not in the rain. It's not in the sun. It's not in the stars. It's not in the moon. It's not in animals. It's a burden. It's in men. Somebody said hallelujah. And he said that Jesus Paul preached. Timotheus. Sylvanus. He said in him there was for everything he promised, there was never a name. There are people who teach us that you know God can answer your, your prayer. He can say, Yes. He can say, wait, he can say, no, then you ask them, where is the scripture? So you ask me, you mean everything you ask for, is yes, if he promised it. Tell somebody if he promised. It is yes. Did he promise? Did he promise? It is yes. In him. By us. How can we know this and say you? How can the world fail? A believer. The Bible says that you are of God. Little children. And you have overcome the world. Did he say you will overcome? in our lives. Tell your neighbor we don't have an excuse anymore. Tell your neighbor we don't have an excuse anymore. Jesus has to say yes. Yes, I Or he has to say yes. Ninga in a gambango. 
Bible. His word is faith. It's the Gambot says, no pictures. The Bible says Abraham. Bible the Gambot Abraham. Stop at not at the promise. Taranganani say, Hatra Ganso. He did not consider. Tarati Ramatama. But he was a hundred years old. Wakai Nanya catch Kuningigana. Neither the barrenness of Sarah's womb. Teninga or Bukumba Gomka. The Bible says, against all hope, in hope he believed. The Bible says he was fully persuaded that he that promised was also able to perform. He that promised was also able to perform. So hallelujah. In him is here. We are accepted. It appreciates you. We are allowed to ask for the hard thing. With God. With God. With God. With God. With God. With God. All things are possible. Years ago. I told God, I received the anointing on my continence. On my continence. On my, yes. And everything I represent. I said, God, I received it. Let men look at the posters and heal. Because it's by us. In you. There was a man called Peter. Muslim woman with a swollen leg. 
her and he told her get this phone at Quaden SMS and call this man of God. And the woman called. When I said hello, couldn't hello. Halev went back to Nom. In him, by us. The Bible says we can do all things. Bible through Christ, which strengthens us. Tell your neighbor, I believe God. Tell your neighbor, I believe God. Tell your neighbor, I believe God. In First Peter 2, 24, He said a promise. He said, who his own self bore our sins in his own body on a tree. Did he do it? That we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. And he says, by his stripes ye were healed. Peter didn't say we were healed. No, we were healed. No, he was telling them who didn't know. For him he knew that he was healed. Do you know you were healed? Ask your neighbor, do you know you were healed? The Bible says when he received vinegar, he said it is finished. And he gave up his course. Your healing is finished. We are not believing God to heal you. We are asking you. Are you ready to receive what he gave you? There is no nay. Because he gave it all. He gave it all. The Bible says you have been given. Everything that pertains to life and godliness. Do you believe it? Do you realize the Bible says you have been given? No, my Bible His divine power has given us. All things that pertain to life and godliness. Not will give. He has given. Somebody shout hallelujah. The Bible says that you've been blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ. Not you will be. Tell your neighbor it is finished. Everything that pertains to life and goodness. It is finished. It is finished. That is why, because of that, in Hebrews chapter 10, 23, it says, let us hold fast the profession of our faith. Without wavering. For so he is faithful. But promise. Miracles don't happen. Not because God is not powerful. 
pain man. Oh, because your situation is beyond help. Muninga embera yorumu erenziri huera. No, apana. Miracles are held because men simply don't believe his faith. You can believe him and trust his faithfulness. Even if you feel pain in your body, he's still faithful. His word has not changed. Even if you pray for 20 years, his word has not changed. In him is no name. He has already given. He can't take back. He's the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Did he give? He gives. And he will give. Somebody shout hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. The one I brought you today. There is no name. We are believing God for a mighty move in this land. It is too late for a name. <laughs> Satan can't kick against the priest. He's already late. The promise of God came before. He would have killed you before you entered 2019. But he is late. The promise of God came before. He cannot stop. The work of God. Satan cannot stop. The work of God. He cannot stop the power of God. He cannot stop the person of the Holy Spirit. He can try. But the Bible says of which it is impossible to hold him. Death could not hold him. Satan can't hold you back. He can't hold your healing back. He can't hold your breakthrough back. He can't hold your advancing back. He can't hold your finances back. He can't hold your marriage back. He can't hold your children back. He can't hold your deliverance back. He is it. He is it. He has already happened. In him was no name. What are you believing God for tonight? What are you believing God for this week? What are you believing God for today, tomorrow and Sunday? What are you telling God I must see? Here is the good news. There is no name. There is something about believing God. I say there is something about believing God. I say there is something about believing God. Somebody say tonight God. I believe you. Tell him and say tonight God. I am believing you. I have believed you. For the impossible. I have believed you for what I cannot see. I have believed you for things doctors say are impossible. I have believed you. I have believed you. I have believed you. There was no name in him. We are going to pray.
There was no name. In him. There was no name. There was no name. There was no name. There was no name. The one of Paul. The one of Apollo. Apollo. The one of Peter. Peter. The one of John. The one of Apostle Grace. Grace. The one of put your name. There is no 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 name. If you came with a deaf ear, both or one. 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 In him there is no name. If you came with a swelling in your stomach with a fibroid with cancer in him there is no name. If you can't pass urine in him there is no name. If you come with diabetes high blood pressure in him there is no name there is no name there is no name now raise your voice and start to speak to God speak to God speak to God Speak to God. Something is happening. God is healing the sick. God is changing your family. He's changing your marriage. He's changing your relationship. He's changing your body. Check yourself. If you come with a clutch, I dare you to walk in the name of Jesus. God in you there is no name. 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 In you is here. And a man to the glory of God. And the men to the glory of God. Yes. God is fixing your finances. Yes. God is fixing your body. Yes. God is fixing your ministry. Yes. God is fixing your sight. You came here. And your eyes could not see well. I see that you receive sight. In the name of Jesus. Heal. Somebody give the Lord a man of praise. I want to give somebody an opportunity to say I want that Jesus in whom there is no name. I want to receive him as my Lord and Savior. I want my life to change since we came here. To tell you Jesus Lord. And that in him. All things are here. And amen to the glory of God. So if you're there. And you have not received him as your Lord and Savior. Let me give you one of the best opportunities in this world. To make the best decision of your life. This is the one thing you're never going to regret. If you want to be born again, come running. Come running. 
You're going to repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Tonight. I have heard your word and I believe that in you there is no name there is here I am accepted I am loved I am forgiven so tonight I receive you as my Lord and Savior I am born again Amen Amen the message you have just heard was brought to you by Sonero Ministries International. For more information, contact us on telephone number 041-466-4291 or email us at sonerocompala at gmail.com. You can also find us on the web at www.sonero.org. Or better still, feel free to join us every Thursday for our weekly fellowship at UMA Multipurpose Hall from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. You can also catch the live stream at livestream.com slash Fenero. Fenero. Make Manta.